look at this. A new poll by Leger. As you know, they're the largest Canadian-owned pollster. Um, the poll's about immigration, and it specifically asked people of different racial backgrounds their thoughts on immigration. Here's what made up this survey. It's really interesting. 2,100 people were surveyed, focused on newcomers, as they call them, people who came here uh, as recently as yesterday and as long ago as 10 years. So anyone who's arrived in the last 10 years, that's who they surveyed. And let me just quote from their survey. Results were weighted by age, gender, region, country, birth, as well as years since arrival. So this is an unusual poll, eh? Good for them for for um, uh, doing it. Page 10 shows a breakdown of who they broke to, uh, spoke to. 41% were what's called permanent residents, 16% temporary workers, 11% students, etc. So let's start with uh, the boring question, who would you vote for? <clears throat> and let me be clear, these are for newcomers, as they call them, fairly recent Im immigrants. 24% lean conservative, 22% lean liberal, 38% say they don't know, which makes sense. I mean, if you just arrived here uh, as a student visa holder, you probably haven't thought about politics yet. But right there, that's interesting, isn't it? New Canadians are ready to vote for Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives. The typical media smear of your racist doesn't seem to be working anymore, does it? Page five of the poll is sort of interesting. Political party by race of newcomer. So black immigrants lean liberal and they lean against conservatives pretty dramatically, which is a surprise to me. South Asian, I think that means mainly India, which would include Sikhs, but also Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. They're strongly conservative. Uh, and look at those Chinese numbers. Holy moly. Three to one, choosing conservatives over liberals. That's honestly sort of surprising to me. I thought that maybe... Uh, Justin Trudeau sucking up to communist China would it be appealing, but I mean, I'm just telling you what the poll says. Three to one, they're for the conservatives. I think all that's sort of interesting, but I want to talk about immigration. That's what is the most interesting here. So look at page seven of the poll. Opinion of current immigration plan. And again, if I'm understanding this poll correctly, all of these people are new immigrants, people here in the last 10 years. Um, they just break those newcomers down uh, by race which is, again, unusual for a poll. Now, I want to read to you something that will erode your confidence in this poll a little bit, but I want to disclose it to you. It, it made me raise an eyebrow. Here's the actual question that was put. The government of Canada's current immigration plan is to welcome 465,000 immigrants, immigrants to Canada this year, 485,000 in 2024, and half a million in 2025. So they started doing this poll late last year, by the way. But as you know, and as I said a few minutes ago, that, that it's not accurate. Those numbers are not accurate. Because in addition to those numbers, there are a stunning 900,000 foreign students here on visas. And then there are about 600,000 temporary foreign workers here on visas too. So the real number, as calculated by Candace Malcolm at True North, is 2.2 million per year. Four times the number that Leger asked in their polling question. So I would think that if people knew the truth, their reactions would be even more stark. But let me tell you what newcomers said when presented with the question that Leger actually did ask them. Let's look at the choices. Too many immigrants, the right number of immigrants, or too few immigrants. Only 7% said too few. By the way, I'll, I'll take you out of suspense. Um, those who say the right number uh, is really, in my mind, uh, a way of saying, I don't know, because it's a safe answer in addition to the 17% who actually say, I don't know. I think many people would say about right if the number were higher or lower. They just don't want to be controversial. But for those who have an opinion, only 7% say, no, we should have more, whereas 42% say, we have too many. But let's break it down by race. That's what's interesting here. 41% of white immigrants say there's too many immigrants to Canada. 42% of BIPOC say the same. That, that is a goofy acronym. I, I never use it. It stands for Black, Indigenous, and People of Color, which is a weird category because it contains other categories within it. Uh, the group that has the fewest people saying there's too many immigrants is Black immigrants, even though I just mentioned BIPOC, so I don't quite get that. 17% uh, of Black immigrants say we're taking too many, but still that outnumbers the number of Black immigrants who say we're 
taking too few, which is just 11%. So there is no race of immigrant whatsoever where, where more people, more immigrants want more immigration than want less. But look at South Asian people. So that's people from India, including Sikhs, etc. 50% of people from India say that Canada is taking too many immigrants. And these are Indian immigrants saying this. Oh my God, look at the next statistic. 64% percent of people from Southeast Asia say there's too many immigrants. 64% of recent immigrants. So it's not, I'm not talking about someone who came here 50 years ago or even second generation. I'm talking about someone who's just off the plane or just off the boat, someone who's been here less than 10 years, someone who could have arrived yesterday. 64% of Southeast Asian immigrants think that we can take too many immigrants. That's places like Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia. They are fed up with immigration. Even immigrants from there are fed up. In fact, only 4% of Southeast Asians want more immigration. 64% think we're letting in too many people. I, I find that incredible. And again, I'm comparing that to white immigrants. Only 42% of white immigrants say the same thing. Do you, do, you, do you see what I'm saying? Visible minority immigrants are harder line on immigration than white folks. And you can see Chinese Canadians are almost as skeptical of immigration. 55% of them want the doors closed. What do you think of this? You can challenge some of the methodology here. I do. This poll took place over a number of months. A lot has changed in the immigration debate over the last six months. I already showed you that the essential question to put to people undercounted immigration by a huge number. And I'm just skeptical of the numbers for black Canadians. My own anecdotal experience with Canadians from the Caribbean or Central Africa are, are different from the results here. And I don't know how BIPOC is different than black. I don't know. But, but listen, this is the poll. These are done by experts. Maybe that's the difference between my anecdotes and their data. But put aside any quibbles or quarrels for now. That's not even the point. The point is that on its own terms, for whatever it's worth, this poll by Canada's largest pollster, shows that far from immigration skepticism being a racist point of view, immigration skepticism is actually the dominant point of view for Canadian immigrants from minority races. Let me put it another way. Minority immigrants, immigrants of color, are more anti-immigration than white immigrants. And compared to other polls of all Canadians, particularly the polls taken by Angus Reid, all immigrants are more anti-immigration than old stock Canadians are. Maybe it's time the conservatives embrace a message of immigration sanity. Or as I like to call it, net zero immigration. Mm -hmm.